Well, good evening, beautiful people. Um, today is uh, what, Thursday, November 12th, 2020. And I just um, wanted to uh, hmm, just share some information uh, in regards to our uh, our great country and the things that are going on. And, you know, for those of you who are uh, in tune, really in tune and really paying attention to what's going on, it's such an amazing uh, thing. And, you know, it's like, don't fret for those of you who are in support of President Donald Trump. Um, you know, this is an exciting time for all of us um, because it's like, it's a stand for God. And I just wanted to share um, just a dream that I had, uh, what I heard and a dream, and then just to shed some light on some uh, some wordplay. Um, and I'm speaking from my own personal experience. So, you know, I know the, uh, the presidential election was last week, Tuesday, November 3rd. And what's so interesting is I, uh, I fell asleep. And twice I heard uh, either Joe Biden won the election or Biden won the election. And I heard it twice. And, you know, I kind of woke up, I think, after the second time. And I'm like, huh? You know, um, anyway, but then I had fallen, uh, fallen back to sleep and I had a dream. And in the dream... Uh, I won't go into great detail about the dream, but President Donald Trump was the winner. So it was just really interesting, you know, to hear twice. And I'm believing now that the Lord was just letting me know what was going to be said or what that outcome was going to be. But yet, as we trust and stand on the word of God and that we walk by faith and not by sight, then the Lord gave me the dream to let me know that President Donald J. Trump is the winner. So, so many people, you know, I was watching the news, um, you know, after the election and all the people that were in the streets and, you know, they're just partying and, you know, people who are cussing and, you know, all the, the ignorant stuff that, you know, people do that don't know the truth. Um were doing and the things that they were saying and they're just all celebrating and things of that. And I'm like, <laughs> it's you all don't even understand. You don't even have a clue because you're celebrating something that's not even real. <laughs> it's like uh, President Donald Trump is still the president. So what I wanted to share in regards to that too is, you know, the media keeps saying, President-elect Joe Biden and President, uh, Vice President-elect Kamala Harris. So let me shed some lights on this elect <laughs> word. So I am currently uh, a member of an organization and I am the president-elect of this particular uh, club. What does that mean? I'm not the president. I'm president elect. Meaning we have a president who was just elected the president of my club and he's serving right now his term as the president. But I am president elect, but I'm not in that position. So it's like, okay, all these people, you know, who think that, oh, Joe Biden won. Hey, ho, he did not win. <laughs> and then, oh my gosh, let's just think about it. North Carolina, President uh, Trump, he, he won North Carolina. So I'm just saying, you know, behind the scenes, God is working. And for all of you people who voted for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, you all, I mean, you're, you, you've done your victory dance. You've done your hey, ho, and all that, but it is, it's all based on a lie. Because even as I mentioned before, 
you're listening to mainstream media. And I mean, I can't even stress this enough, you know, just we reading the word, you know, Satan comes for to steal, to kill and to destroy. And, you know, and to give false hope and things. And it's like, I can't, I just, I am so like in, in, I'm not shocked because if you all have been following me on YouTube uh, or watching any of the videos that I've posted on YouTube or uh, Facebook or what have you, you know, last year, I believe, um, or earlier this year, even, you know, don't be deceived, you know, but so many people are have been deceived because you're not seeking God to find out what the truth of the matter is. And because of that, it's caused so many people to be lulled, to be lulled asleep and to be deceived. And it really, it, it, it bothers me. It is, it's sad. Yeah, I can't help but it's just so saddening. And it's like upsetting. It's upsetting because the enemy has deceived you all. And it's sad, it's saddening because you guys don't even see it. Like you're not even paying attention to the truth. You're not hearing the truth. You know, the truth makes you free and you're not free because you voted for Barabbas and not for Jesus. And that's the part that just, you know, it's like, oh my gosh, I just, mm. It's really interesting. And, you know, I'm not throwing shade or putting down anyone's relationship that they, you know, that they say that you, that you say that you have, you know, but I am very thankful to to know the truth because the truth, mm, it makes us free. So I just wanted, to, I just had to come and just share that, you know, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are president elect, not president and vice president elect, not vice president. And it's not going to happen. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. Like <laughs> it's just not going to happen. President Donald Trump is still president number 45 of the United States of America and the United States of America will be made great again. It's all about Jesus. Just letting you know. All right. Y'all have a good night and I'll see you all next time. Bye.